Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys all for tuning in today. So you guys, today is all about who is going to enter your life next. I have five groups prepared for you and I would like you to pick one of the five groups intuitively. As usual, I just wanted to let you guys know that if you feel drawn to two readings for some reason, feel free to tune into two readings. So the timestamps will be down below as usual. And also if you're new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and like this video if you found it insightful and helpful. So you guys, let's get straight into the group. So we have group number one, group number two, group number three, group number four, and group number five. If you need a minute just to meditate on the five groups, feel free to pause this video right here in order to do so. Otherwise, I'm going to get straight into the readings with group number one. Okay, group number one. Let's see who's coming into your life next. So we have the animal guardian, the shapeshifter, the jade, the frog, as well as the fire ant. So one thing that I instinctively see about this person who is coming into your life next is in the frog that this person is a very nurturing person, this person is a very gentle person, so this might definitely be a love interest that is coming into your life, or just, you know, somebody who is going to be there for a prolonged amount of time, who is going to be there to sort of be there for you when you need someone to talk to, someone who can be a shoulder to lean on, as I see that this person you know, is someone who is not only caring and nurturing, but also has a lot of empathy. So this person can definitely sort of um, relate to you very much. This person can feel what you feel and has only your highest good in mind. So in the Jade, I can see that this person is sort of like going to be a safe haven for you. This person is someone who um, will help you sort of recover your health, your health, your wellness, and um, make sure that you feel sort of taken care of. So overall, this is a very um, nurturing type of relationship that is going to enter your life. So it could also be that maybe you've had a falling out with someone who is nurturing in your life. It could be your dad, it could be your mom, and maybe you had a falling out or you haven't spoken to them, and now is a time where they would be coming back into your life or making a reappearance. But obviously this is also um, has the possibility of being a completely new person. Then in the fire ant, I can see that um, this person is somebody who likes to collaborate, somebody who is always looking to work together. This person is somebody who has good social skills, who probably has a wide like friend circle or knows a lot of people because a lot of people, you know, like this person. This is a very likable person. A lot of people feel the same way about this person like you do. They see this person as a safe haven. They see this person as a nurturer. And this person likes to, you know, help everyone and work together in a group in order to, you know, achieve the, res the desired results. And in the Animal Guardian, I see that this person is not only empathetic towards other human beings, but this person is also very empathetic towards um, animals, you know, towards other living beings. This person is somebody who is interested in the environment. They're interested in saving the environment. They're interested in doing environmentalist type things. And, um, you know, they may own an animal. They may own more than one animal. Either way, they are somebody who is connected to the animal kingdom and likes to be very instinctual. They sort of see that side in animals and it's something that they've more or less like copied. So this person may, like I said, own animals, live with animals, or may have owned animals growing up where um, they can see how animals just instinctually sort of go through life and you know they do it in a very graceful way they do it in a very smart way so this person is definitely somebody who is connected to the animals in that form and in the shapeshifter i can see that this person is very interesting as they have many gifts that may not be may not be visible to the bare eye from the get-go so this person is somebody who can take many sort of forms they, they sort of have so many different facets to them that um, they may be surprising you over and over again with their abilities so i definitely see that um, it will take time for them to truly unveil who they are it will take time for them to truly show their full self to you as you know this person is, is not only empathetic they're also you know collaborative at the same time they're also very into the environment so for them to like reveal 
themselves in their truest and purest form is going to take a lot of different scenarios in order for you to truly get to know them and because they're going to need time to you know transform and morph into all of these different amazing versions of themselves so um yeah the relationship is definitely going to be one of you know more longevity as you will slowly uncover who this person is and slowly start to you know see all of the different shapes and forms that they are able to take but this person is definitely somebody who is here to serve you as um, somebody who is emotionally here for you, somebody who is understanding. So there could be romantic energy, just this could also just be a strong, you know, relationship, a platonic relationship, but either way, this person is going to be there for you when you need them the most. So yeah, group number one, that is the reading that I received for you regarding who is going to be entering your life next. Okay, group number two, let's figure out who's going to be entering your life next. So we have the Rado Cross Eye, the Magic Guardian, the Arrow, the Bee, as well as the Raccoon. So off the bat, it's very clear that this person is a very hardworking person. You know, that is what the B stands for. This person is not only hardworking, but also sort of has um, a strong mindset, okay? If you don't agree with them, if you have a sort of disagreement or they know that they're in the right, sometimes it may stay, you know, they have that sort of personality where they're very hardworking and they're focused. But when certain things may come in between, you know, their work and their focus, uh, you know, they may get a little bit intense. They may sting just a little bit. But at the same time in the raccoon, I see that this person does not really bring that side of them to the forefront very often. They're not really the kind of person that goes on the offense. They're more of the person that goes on the defense. So this person is definitely somebody who, you know, is more of a calm person, is more of somebody who lays low, is more of somebody who sort of blends in with the crowd and can fit in anywhere. So I definitely see that this person and you may overlook them first off you may not you know truly recognize them just because they are able to blend in in different environments they're able to deal with different situations in different environments and they don't need like a certain set in order for them to be able to feel comfortable or in order for them to be productive so they're someone who has maybe traveled a lot who has maybe lived in a lot of different countries due to work or just due to the fact that they, you know, are able to sort of cope anywhere. So in the arrow, I can see that they definitely have this streak in them of protecting themselves. They definitely have this streak where um, they try to protect their energy from any sort of en energy vampires. They try to sort of um, remain in their own lane. They try to just stick to the group that they know mostly, the friend group that they know. So while they are adventurous, they don't like to let new people in very easily. They like to be sure of who they let in first. And in the Magic Guardian, I can see that, you know, the fact that this person um, is like well-traveled, well-educated, is well-cultured, has something, gives them a sort of air of magic. It gives them sort of this air of mystery where you feel like you have them figured out, but they keep surprising you with more knowledge about different places and cultures and people. And they keep telling you these stories about things that they've experienced that you're, you just find like so unbelievable. You think to yourself, how has this little worker bee experienced all these different things? How has this worker bee been able to cope with all of these things? So on the surface, they may seem very um, plain. They may seem like they haven't experienced everything that they have or they haven't gone through everything that they have. But deep down inside, you know, they are very much a strong person. They're very much somebody who can cope in any situation. You know, you throw them in the water and they learn to swim. That's the kind of person that this is. And in the Rado Cross I, I can see that this person is has a very gentle touch with other people, especially once they have gotten to know them. There's somebody who knows that, you know, we've all been through a lot. They've been through a lot themselves and they've been underestimated many times. So when it comes to the relationship with you, they're willing to give you the benefit of the doubt and they're willing to be very gentle with you because they can see that any way that you sort of act up or any way that you voice any sort of unhappiness, it's not um, coming from a place of, it's not coming from a negative place, it's not coming from a bad place. Sometimes when people have been through a lot in life, 
Um, the way they express themselves is not always the best way. The way they express themselves can be in a form or manner that, um, that may offend other people, but you know, they just don't know how else to do it. So, but this person is very understanding about that. And that is exactly why they're entering your life. And that is exactly why you're going to be able to establish this bond. It is because this person understands, has been through a lot themselves and you will be able to learn so, so much from them. So yeah, group number two, that is the reading that I get for you on who is about to enter your life. Okay, group number three, let's see who's about to enter your life. So we have the Titanium Rainbow Quartz, the Air Guardian, Summer, the Cheetah, as well as the Buffalo. So what I instinctively see is that this person is very strong-headed, okay? This person is, is not only quick on their feet, is not only somebody who can react very quickly to anything that is thrown at them, they're also very strong-headed, which may cause a little bit of conflict in your relationship with them. So if you are somebody who is already, you know, pretty strong-willed and strong-headed, being um, in a relationship and not necessarily a romantic relationship, just in any relationship with someone who is just like you, can be a little challenging at times to say the least, but it doesn't mean that it can't work. It doesn't mean that it has to be a dysfunctional relationship. It just means that you two need to learn to sometimes agree to disagree because that is just a part of life. Not everyone can always agree with you and you can't always agree with everyone's opinion. Then in the cheetah, um, as already mentioned before, this person is very witty and funny and very quick. So I want you to know that um, this person is going to be somebody who keeps you on your toes. This person is somebody who, um, they can be very calm and just watchful, but then um, in the blink of an eye, like something changes and you know, you're booking a ticket across the world to go somewhere with them. So they're very spontaneous and also at the same time, they like, you know, to chill out. They like to just relax. So they're very like balanced when it comes to activities that they would like to do. Then in the Titanium Rainbow Quartz, it is clear that the relationship and the way this person is going to enter your life is not just one clear situation. Um, the relationship has many different layers. It's very multifaceted. And um, the person that you're asking about, the person who is going to enter your life, is somebody who has a lot of different um, facets to them that all amount to, you know, this one crazy person. So this person may be very eccentric. This person may be very artistic. That is definitely something that I see here. And um, they may be somebody who runs their own business. As I said in the Buffalo, they're not somebody who take orders very well. They're not somebody who just, you know, likes to get in line with everybody else. They sort of know their strength and they know their worth and they definitely know where they want to go in life. So the way you might meet this person may be that, you know, you see them over a course of, you know, multiple times and you don't even notice that this is the person that is supposed to be in your life. So it might take a couple, um, you might see this person over and over again before you establish that relationship. So you might work with them, you might see them at the gym, you might see them at, you know, a yoga class, what have you, but this relationship is not the easiest to explain. Then in the Air Guardian, I can see that this person who is about to enter your life is very much um, on an intellectual level. They're very smart and intelligent. And you know, they may be somebody who has a very good education and either way, they're going to be able to um, shift your perception. They're going to be able to shift the way you think about life and give you sort of um, a lot of epiphanies where you're like, hey, I never even thought about this this way, but it's genius. So that is the kind of person that this person um, who is supposed to enter your life is. And another thing in this person is that um, because they're so quick-witted and because they're pretty stubborn, any, any sort of like argumentative interactions are where they are j literally just trying to shift your perception. They are just trying to show you a different viewpoint. So I want you to know that this person has, you know, no intention of harm. This person is literally just somebody who likes to teach and likes to share their knowledge. Then in summer, I can see that they also really love to just enjoy life. So this person is definitely a connoisseur of just basking in joy and light. This person is definitely a connoisseur of having a good time. So whether it's, you know, going to a really nice restaurant or enjoying, you know, a nice 
dinner at home it doesn't matter but this person likes the finer things in life this person likes to enjoy themselves either by themselves or with you but um, as we had in the Buffalo spirit they're very strong on their own so they don't need anybody to join in but they always like to have that sort of intellectual challenge they always like to have that social interaction so um, being with this person, spending time with them, you're going to spend a lot of moments enjoying life. You're going to spend a lot of moments just being in the moment, being present, as that is something that they're going to be teaching you. So yeah, group number three, that is all about the person who will be entering your life very soon. I hope you enjoyed this reading and I'll see you in my next one. Okay, group number four, let's see who's entering your life shortly. So we have gold, the medicine guardian, the elder, the earthworm, as well as the elk. So one thing that I see in gold instinctively is the fact that this person is going to enter your life at a time of need. This person is going to enter your life at a time where, you know, you truly just needed that sort of um, support. You truly just needed this intervention from the universe of sending this particular person into your life. So I definitely see this relationship being very meaningful for you. I see this relationship being one that is going to be built on a foundation that is a lot deeper and a lot more emotional than many of the relationships that you may have established in the past prior to this person. So maybe you're going through a really tough time or maybe you know, you're know you shortly going to be experiencing something that you may have never thought you had to go through or experience and this person is going to be there to support you and you're going to get a lot of strength out of the relationship with this person as they're either going to sort of distract you from all of the issues at hand or they're going to be sort of a shoulder to lean on. Either way, you're going to get a lot of positive energy out of this relationship. In the earthworm, I can see that um, this person has a very important role in life this person you know maybe somebody who is rank, ranks really high at their job or who has a lot of responsibility as i can see in the medicine guardian that um, this person may even be like working in the medical field in a field where they are helping people where they are healing people but either way i see that their role is um, very important they may not be working in a role where um, they earn money to like help and heal people they may also be taking care of a sick family member or you know a child either way um, they have a very essential role to somebody's life and at the same time you know they're also very shy so while they have that important role and while it takes a lot of confidence in order to um, you know do that role in order to execute that role um, this person is still you know a little bit shy and can sometimes be very redrawn but I don't want you to take that the wrong way because that is just how they are um, there's nothing that they can really change about that as I can see in the earthworm spirit that they are just somebody who can be a little bit more redrawn than other people then in the elder I can see that um, they are very different from their family they're very different from the ancestral patterns that you know are in their life they are somebody who um, really stands out in their family history so if you look around this person if you've seen their family and you feel like wow you know this person is really different then um, this might be the person that you're dealing with because I see that they have broken that pattern of you know either living in poverty or having sort of um, a negative pattern of a codependency to a substance or a person either way they have broken the pattern and made something of themselves that is completely different something that is completely new to their environment and in the elk I can see that they're very proud of that they're also very like territorial over that okay so any success that this person has had in their life they are definitely you know there to tell you that it was all hard work and they're definitely there to tell you that um, it took a lot out of them and they're going to fight for what they accomplish and they're going to fight to not let anyone take it away from them so this is definitely a person who is entering your life who you know while they're shy and not the most outgoing person they're still a very strong character they're still a very um 
valuable person to have in your life as you know they have this healing power they have this nurturing side to themselves as well as entering your life in a time of need in a time where um, you know, it makes a lot of sense that you will have met that person. I see that, you know, meeting this person is definitely going to be a bit of a game changer. It's definitely going to feel like it was meant to be. So yeah, group number four, that is the reading that I get for the person who is entering your life next. Okay, group number five, let's see who's entering your life. So we have the diamond, the fire guardian, the moon, the swan, as well as the butterfly. Okay, so instinctively what I see in the person who is entering your life is that they may be physically very attractive, but one thing that is for sure is that they are a very elegant person at heart. So this is a person who has, you know, good etiquette. This is a person who has good manners. This is a person who, you know, is a very gracious, generous, loving, giving person. So I definitely see, you know, a big personality entering your life, not only because they have such amazing traits, but also because, you know, they just are a, a big presence. You know, when this person enters the room, you notice them. When this person goes somewhere, people look at them. So um, that is what I instinctively see in the person that is about to enter your life. So in the fire guardian, I see that this person may be of a fire sign. They may be a Leo, a Sagittarius, or an Aries. Either way, I see very strong emotions. I see that they're very enthusiastic as well as passionate. So if you think that this person might be a love interest, then you know, get ready for somebody who is very passionate and very into intimacy. Then in the butterfly, I can see that um, they are very beautiful and they are um, a very elegant person as well as you know a true person, like big personality. But they also have had to go through a transformation. So as you get to know this person, you will come to realize that they started from nothing. They started at zero and they built themselves up to where they are now. So this person is a very inspiring person. This person is somebody who um, has been able to get to where they are today only out of their own strength and only out of the fact that you know they knew their self-worth. And that is something that I see in the diamond. So this person is somebody who knows their self-worth, not necessarily in a cocky way, well, maybe a little bit in a cocky way. To be honest, they could be a little bit cocky because we do have the swan in this reading. So, um, but either way, they exude confidence, they exude the fact that they know who they are and that they have a strong sense of self-worth. However, they are ruled by the moon. They are ruled by um, the moon phases and just um, how the planetary system moves its way through through the universe. So I see that this has pluses and this has minuses. So this person might be sometimes a little bit impulsive depending on what time of the year it is, depending on you know where the moon stands, depending on just how you know the planets align. That is how this person um, copes on an emotional level. So I definitely see this person maybe being very impulsive from time to time and you not truly being able to predict until you properly get to know them and you properly get to know their ways. But either way, you know, this person is a generous person, this person is a passionate person, and this person is definitely somebody that you can learn a lot from and that you can sort of gain a lot of confidence from. So this person does not only value themselves, know their own value, and is not only confident about themselves, they also like uplifting other people. So they are so confident to the point where um, they love uplifting you. They love telling you, you know, to shine your light, to be yourself. So this person person is definitely going to be like a cheerleader for you. It's almost going to be, you know, hard for you to believe that somebody who is so beautiful and has such a big personality is there to cheer you on. So yeah, group number five, that is the reading that I get for you and the person who is entering your life next.